I was born in 1980, December. I think Reagan had just been nominated into the office, and uh, the Philadelphia Phillies, um, they're my team. I'm a Philly girl, so if the, the Phillies uh, made the World Series, they won that series actually. They won in 80 and also 2008. Oh, I sleep. I sleep like it's nobody's business. I'm really good at it. <laughs> oh, favorite musical work? Actually, is Swan Lake. Anything and everything that Brahms wrote, his concertos, his symphonies, his chamber music, his sonatas, everything, just works of art. Um, Bach, you know, perfection. Most famous musician probably would be Yo-Yo Ma, um, Martha Arkridge. Um, most famous non-musician, Sophia Loren, is in my heart. Yeah. <laughs> Work hard, play hard, play harder. <laughs> I think violinistically it's probably the Boistra because he is, I think, just the most amazing musician of all time. I also love Elizabeth Taylor um, for many reasons. Number one, just for being this amazing actress, but also just for just, just living. I just love that sort of, I don't care what anyone thinks, I'm going to live life for myself. That sort of attitude is just so amazing. I can sleep anywhere and everywhere. Like literally any moving vehicle, I can sleep. We can be having a conversation, I can sleep. I can sleep anywhere. It's pretty awesome. Spanx. Hands down. <laughs> Spanx. I just recently got a puppy about a year and a half ago. And I, I love when I'm home, which is so rare, and he's sleeping next to me and he's snoring. And it's just the most soothing sound ever. And he's so warm and cuddly. It's just, oh, it's like a, a warm blanket. It's the most amazing thing ever. I'm actually rereading uh, John McLaren's Black Cab. Now, John is actually a personal friend of mine, which is why it makes it so much more meaningful when you read an author's book when you, when you know the person personally. If it's a concert day, I wake up and I think, oh my god, what am I playing tonight? because there's so much repertoire change that sometimes you really do go to sleep and wake up thinking, what am I playing? Oh my god, help me out here. I hope it's still coming. <laughs> I actually wanted to be a gymnast. Bleach and martinis. Oh, when I'm alone, tennis. Uh, if I'm with friends or with my brother especially, basketball. Why the hell do I have a license? <laughs> Survivor. As well as Beyonce's Diva. Do you know that song? Mm -hmm. Diva is a female version of a slur. Of a slur. <laughs> of a slur, yeah, that one. <laughs> oh, I can't cook to save my life. But you are very welcome, and I will probably get it catered. <laughs> and then I put everything on plates and decorate it, and then throw out all the, the extra containers so it wouldn't look like I had done it. <laughs> so don't go through the trash. <laughs> oh, Brangelina, no question. Can you imagine how much fun that would be to be in the house? <laughs> yeah, I push myself pretty hard when it's necessary. And I try to remind myself to live though, you know? Because I think at the end of the day, it's not really about great fingers that inspires people, but more about imagination and inspiration. And having something to say on a musical level, and you can't honestly portray that unless you go out and live life and see beautiful things and see gorgeous artwork and amazing architecture and you know be in love and have your heart broken and break a few hearts on your own and just to live life and then have that flow through the music oh that i got married and i didn't even know it <laughs> you know i grew up with the grand old maestros of the past era sir colin davis Maestro Savalish and Maestro Mazur, who's still around, of course. Um, so they, they really became sort of my musical godparents. Maestro Meta, who really started me off. You know, I love working with them to this day. Um, and now we have these, this wave of hot new young conductors. You know, Dudamel comes to mind, and there's, there's a lot of really amazing talent out there right now. I think the future's pretty bright. You know, you hear these sort of horror stories of what's happening with the business, but then you go to concerts and Halls are full, sold out concerts, and I think as long as we are responsible, we as in everybody on stage and part of the business are responsible, and we make an effort 
um, to not just go and do our rehearsals and concerts and take the next jet out, but really make an effort to understand the community there, spend time with the donors, um, go to schools, play for the local students that are there, do the outreach activities, and really make an effort to connect with each and every audience. I think we have such a huge responsibility to make sure that it doesn't end with us, that there is still an audience in the future. And I think part of what we can do is really make an effort to include um, the younger generation.